we're going to measure the thickness of a brake rotor using a brake rotor micrometer. This is a heavier duty micrometer um, and it's got more opening, more travel than a zero to one or a one to two micrometer. We got one micrometer to fit multiple sizes. The first thing we're gonna do is that I like to do is we need to find out what this looks like at zero. We're gonna focus on this area. We're gonna line up the zero line to the line on the barrel and that's our zero. And we do that because some micrometers, uh, we're, we're using this edge of the thimble to um, line up on the zero left and right and the horizontal line the zero and the line on the barrel um, when reading the numbers around here tighten it up and I'm trying to get a feel for where zero is on here the next thing is each of these lines around is one thousandth of an inch five ten 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and so on. And we go all the way around and we get to 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. That's 50 thousandths of an inch. And we're showing one line now on the barrel. As we continue to go around, I've done 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. Now we're at, we've gone around two revolutions. That's 50 thousandths each time, 0 0.050, 0 0.050. And now we're at the 100 thousandths line. And we keep going. We're at 150. And we keep going. And now, as we slowly come around, we're going to see this point two, two hundred thousandths of an inch. And that pattern continues all the way out with the every two hundred thousandths, there's going to be a number in a line. To measure the rotor, <coughs> Um, disc brake rotor this is a vented rotor and it's a hub style this rotor is held onto the vehicle with bearings and a, a nut we're gonna open up the micrometer and we're not gonna if we have a deep groove we're gonna put this point in the deep groove a lot of manufacturers recommend measuring from the deepest groove um, this rotor doesn't have any grooves on it so we're going to put it down the next thing we're going to do is push push it down about uh, maybe a half inch it a lot of manufacturers specify how far down and i'm going to i'm holding the micrometer with my left hand over here in this right hand i'm just moving it up and down and in and out just slightly while slipping my fingers on here. This clutch doesn't work on this one. Sometimes they click or they have a friction and that's how tight you tighten it. This one doesn't have it. So you gotta have a feel for it. And because this surface is pretty big on the micrometer here, sometimes you just gotta wiggle it and you'll feel it set in there. So right about there. And what I like to do now as I look at my measurement and I see about where I am then I loosen it up and in the same spot I, I feel and I don't look at the micrometer to get a measurement I just look and feel okay I'm at the same spot I loosen it up put it on again wiggle it only my right hand moving and not extreme and I'm not cranking down on this I'm just slipping in my hand you can see it slip and I've gotten the same measurement each time. And that's good news. So I'm gonna back it off. I'm gonna keep track of where I'm at. I'm gonna back it off and put it up here um, so we can see it. 
And so we go out, we're at, we have a 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8. So that's 800 thousandths. Then we got the one inch mark. It says one point. And that there is one inch. And all I'm gonna do, since there's no other line showing after that, I'm gonna write down on a piece of paper, I'm gonna write down 1.000. That's one inch. Next, I'm going to count. I'm going to count how many lines until we're touching here. And I'm at zero, so I just go one and then two. Okay. And everything on here is one thousandths of an inch. And I'm going to show you that on a piece of paper. And so, what we do is the first line is one thousandths, the second line is two thousandths, three, four, and the fifth line being five thousandths. And that's how we write five thousandths, one thousandths, two thousandths. So on our micrometer, same thing, we got zero, then we got one, two, three, four, five thousandths. You can see those lines on there. And we're at the two thousandths mark. So all we've done is create a simple math problem the thickness of this rotor, we add this up, it's going to be 1. When we add those numbers together, 1, because we're at 1 inch, so to the left of the decimal is how many inches we're at. And then we read, we were only 2 thousandths past that 1 inch mark. This number is red, this bottom number down here is read as one and two thousandths. Okay. And in breaks, we're always going to go three decimal places and we're going to refer to whatever number that is as thousandths. I just wrote a rant. I just wrote a random number down here. I wrote 1.132. We read that number one and 132 thousands all right we have another rotor here I have it in the vise just so it's secure you would not do this to a regular rotor there's no need um, just have it for clarity I'm gonna open up our micrometer okay and there's a little there's a and here a little rust ring that's broken off so it's actually thinner here and thicker out here. We're going to disregard this and we're going to measure this surface in the same spot on the other side. There's no grooves in this rotor. I'm going to put the micrometer on. I'm going to tighten it down. And my left hand is supporting it and my right hand is moving up and down and in and out. I read the micrometer. I back it off again, I put it back on, I read the micrometer, I back it off, I put it back on again, and I've gotten the same number every time. So I'm, for demonstration purposes, I'm going to back this off, remember where I'm at. So we're going to look at it, and we're at one inch one and two hundred thousandths and we're we're almost we're almost to this mark even though we can see it we're not there yet we wouldn't be there yet until we got to the zero so we were at 44 on the dial so we're at 1.200 so i'm going to write that down We're at 1.200, 1.2, and we're not to back to zero yet. So we're at zero, zero, 0, 1.200, 0, and we're at 44 on the dial right here. This line is lining up across here. The number we have on there is 1.200 and then 0 0.044. When we add them up, one 
and 244 thousandths of an inch. I made a setting on here. And if we come across, we're at 1.2, which is one and 200 thousandths. Then we have another line, it's 50 thousandths, one and 250 thousandths. Then we have another line, so we're at one, 200 plus this line is another hundred thousandths. I write that information. I write one and two hundred thousandths. Then I'm going to add another one hundred thousandths. Notice I'm keeping all my zeros on here. Come, come back to here. And then we see the line here lining up across the horizontal line is going to be 17. 15, 16, 17. So when I write that number down, this is why it's important to make sure we have all our zeros written out and we understand those numbers. Now we write 0 0.017, that's 17 thousandths. I'm just going to add all three of these numbers up. <clears throat> And I get one and three hundred and seventeen thousandths. <clears throat> so we're at one inch. We go across here, we're at three hundred thousandths. One and three hundred thousandths plus seventeen. One and three hundred and seventeen thousandths.